and the officers didn't speak to the judge, nor were they supposed to. They were there to learn their trial dates. Officer William Porter will go first, November 30th. The last officer will be tried in March. Five of the six officers charged in the police in custody death of Freddie Gray trickled into court all wearing civilian clothes. Officer Edward Nero, wearing a dark suit, sat in the front row. He passed time talking to defense attorneys. Officer Garrett Miller, also in a suit, sat behind him. Lieutenant Brian Rice in a suit was next to him, and those two frequently chatted. Van driver Caesar Goodson wore a casual jacket rather than a suit. Sergeant Alicia White had on a gray dress and sat next to him. The one missing is William Porter whom the state wants to try first. Some legal experts believe there is a chink in the police solidarity armor. Porter's statements to investigators may be the strongest prosecution evidence. Maybe there are some talks being taking place in the back room whereby Porter may be able to provide that testimony that the state is looking for, and he's trying to distance himself from his co-defendants. Judge Barry Williams pushed back the trial date for Porter based on the defense concerns. Since the state provided them with additional evidence, they will need more time to investigate. Over the objections of the defense, the delays in the other five officers' cases came at the request of the prosecution. Legal experts believe Porter will go first because he's also a material witness against his colleagues. He's charged with manslaughter for not providing or seeking medical attention for Freddie Gray. I think it's a very clear sign that they regard that as one of their stronger cases and probably crucial to prosecution of other officers. Ivan Bates, the attorney for Alicia White, told the judge he intends to file a new motion seeking a change of venue. No other issues were addressed during the brief hearing. The trial dates for the rest of the defendants are spaced two and three weeks apart into March. But legal experts say the first trial, the one with Porter November 30th, may be the most important. And if Porter doesn't get convicted, then I think this case is going to fall like, the house, like a house of cards. Court testimony did not reveal the nature of the additional evidence that prosecutors provided the defense. Still to be determined is whether Porter wants a bench or a jury trial. Reporting live from Courthouse East, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.